Whoa, another video? I'm on a roll. Oh, that's actually because I don't have classes Monday because it's Veterans Day. So I thought, let's make a video. Don't forget to go thank a McDonald's worker for their service. But the one thing for this week was that there wasn't really any Weiss news. So I'm going to cover something that many of y'all might not know about. Here's a question for you. You don't really need an answer. It's just hypothetical. But here's a question for you. Do you like opening packets of cards and do you like seiyus and idols as well? Is Wise Shores a little too expensive for you to keep buying packs and booster boxes in hopes that you get the seiyu merch that you do want? And then, you know, you get a signed card from a seiyu you literally do not give a shit about because Bang Dream Girls Band Party Volume 2 has like 70 signed cards or some shit. Wait, hold, where am I going with this? Don't you wish that there was a combination of trading cards and seiyu merch just like in a nice streamlined package? Well, my fellow whales, do I have a product for you? Voice actor card collection. Yes, this is a thing. Now, in this video over here, which is older than the creation of the universe, I've been on YouTube for a while now, my friends. I opened a Bushy Road magazine for, I don't remember what month, but it was a 2007 issue, so it's it's been a while. And it had a Seiyu card for one of the sets of the time, which I actually believe was the first set, if I am not mistaken. It was actually the voice actors for my waifu, my favorite character, Saya Yamabuki. I personally thought it was like a one-time thing and I actually still have the card right here in the middle. And well, guess what? It wasn't a one-time thing. They're actually on their fourth set right now. So the Voice Actor Card Collection Volume 4 is actually out on January 27th, 2020, which is not when I am in Japan like at all. We actually have a commercial that was posted on the Bang Dream YouTube page, which makes sense a little later on. And there's actually a link in the description below and at the top over here in the top corner because it actually gives us a release dates for all the previous sets and which is actually you know just a kind of cool video in general and on twitter we got a special message from the main girl that is actually featured in the set maishima ami who who is this one sec Oh, she voices, uh, Aya. Aya, who the fuck is Aya? Who's Aya? Oh, oh my god, Pastel Palettes! Yikes, and I wonder why the Pastel Palette fans don't like me. Okay, so this set is like her set. You only get one Seiyu per these sets. It's kind of like, a, think of it like a photo album, but with trading cards. So anyways, we do get special PR cards. Is that what we're calling them? That's what I'm going to call them. Friends who visit the Bushy Road EC shop get the card on the left. And our friends who visit the Gamers shop get the PR card on the right. Bushy Road Magazine buyers for December 2019 get this special photo, which will be included in the magazine as a promotion. And here is the pretty cool one. There will be a special door gift for the Roselia and Reze Solon show that is going to be on November 30th and December 1st. So this is a special limited time PR and wait... I'm gonna be in Japan the exact same time. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to get tickets to this show. I don't know how to do it. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna fucking try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Anyways, who the fuck is this? And why should you care? Ami Maishima is actually an idol. She started off as an idol. She didn't just like fall into a voice actor role. She actually doesn't have a lot of voice acting roles. Pretty much her big voice acting role is Aya from Bang Dream and Ibuki Nijima from D4DJ, which actually isn't out yet, but we're getting info pretty soon. She was part of an idol group called Supergirls from 2010 to 2017. I listened to their stuff and yep, sounds like idol pop. And yes, her color was pink. It's uh, very fitting. Mm. No, there she is. That's her. That's her right there. Yeah, that. Uh, she's right. No, uh, right there. Right there. Fuck. Not really my kind of idol music, honestly. I'm more of a Musubism, Billy Idol, <laughs> Necronomidol kind of guy, you know. But anyways, 2010 to 2017, she took a lot of theater roles. The big two ones of note are the her first role, which is actually the Death Note musical, and Devil May Cry. Yes, Devil May Cry had a stage play. Huh! Would you look at that? There actually is! She actually took the lead role of Supergirls in 2016 and she actually left the group in 2017 because... You know what started in 2017? 
Bang Dream. Ooh, bars, that rhyme. And that's all she's done, so far at least. It's pretty nice that she has done like music and acting as her main job. You know, she gets to do something that she actually likes. I'm assuming that she likes it though. <laughs> I actually forgot I had this. Can't even tell the camera, there we go. That's actually not her signature. That's like the character signing it. Not like actually hers, but what else? I know, I pretty much gave you an entire history lesson leading up to this booster box release of an idol that I like am indifferent towards. But hey, you know, I got the day off. If you like her, go ahead, support her. There are actually exclusive pictures and stuff like that in this set. So by all means, go ahead, go get her goods. Metabots is coming to buddy fight. Bit of a weird video, but hey, I do kind of like doing more of these like kind of like informational videos. But hey, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more card game content. And this has been Lunchbox5930 with Casually Y Shores signing off. And I will see y'all in the next one.